morning and welcome to the IELTS Speaking Test. My name is Lan Ray. I'll be your examiner for today. Please introduce yourself. My name is Akinsoya Alayeni Esther. Okay, how may I address you? Yeni. Yeni. Okay, Yeni. Do you work or study? I do study. Okay, um, tell me something about the people who you study with. Um, or you studied with. As the case might be. I went to school with people of my age range, so we mostly acted in the same way. Mm. I know. Just few same. matured people. Oh. But mostly we're because we're in the same age range, we acted alike. Okay. Mm. And when you say you acted alike, was that like a good thing or a bad thing? Mostly good. Mostly good. Okay. Um <coughs> where do you come from? Where's your hometown? Lagos. Lagos, Nigeria. Good. Um, could you? What's the most interesting part about your hometown? Well, the fact that it is an industrious area. You get to see different things. It is developed hmm. and a beautiful city. Okay. Um, what's the? Would you say it's a good place for young people to live? Of course. I guess it's a good place for young people to live because they have so many interesting things that people of this generation can go into mm. and see and get accustomed to. Okay, speaking of young people, um, <coughs> young people like fashion. Of course. So let's talk about a little bit about that. How often do you wear jewelry? I hardly do that because of my faith. Mm. My religion doesn't allow me to. Okay. Um, what type of jewelry do you like best? I like researches. Mm. Because it doesn't stop, it doesn't affect my faith in any way. So I'm talking best jewelry. Okay. Researches. Um, when do people like to give jewelry in your country? Mostly during occasions like wedding, birthdays. They give jewelry. To ah, have you ever given jewelry to someone as a gift? Yes, I have given my friend a wristwatch on her birthday, hmm. and she really liked it. Ah, um, how did you feel about that gesture? I was happy because she liked it and she was really happy about it. Ah, do you think you're a good person? <laughs> I would like to think so. Ha. Huh. Um. We'll move on to the second part of the IELTS test here. You'll have one minute to talk about this topic, which I will give to you. You'll also have a minute to prepare what you're going to say. So I'll give you the cue card and also provide you with a piece of paper and a pen to jot down your notes if you wish. Okay. Here's your cue card. Here is your piece of paper and your pen. Your one minute to jot down what you're going to say begins now. Yes. Describe an interesting TV program you watched about a science topic. You should say what science topic this TV program was about. When you saw this TV program, 
what you learned from this TV program about the science topic and explain why you found this TV program interesting. Okay, I'm be talking about Najin Wild. It's a TV station on DSTV that talks about animals, how they live, where they live, and how they act. So, <clears throat> Nadja Wild is a science TV program that talks about different animals of different shapes and sizes, different breeds, different gender. I usually watch the program every day, precisely every night, because I only have time to watch TV in the night from 7 p.m. So, I, the program talks more about animals, like I said how they act, where they live, whether in the tropical area or in the desert. Different various animals and I love to watch it because I get to see animals that I don't have the opportunity to see in my geographical location. I see kangaroos, I see camels and usually on a normal day we don't get to see stuff from animals like that where I live. And if I find it so interesting because those animals, of, like I learn more about them, and it's a form of gaining more knowledge and insight about things I wasn't opportunity to learn about in school. For these animals, for example, the zebra, it's a very interesting animal, and I got to know that it's it is a prey for the lions and predators. Thank you very much. Uh, you seem very interested in animals. Um, what do you have to say about the uh, notion that animals are going extinct, that some animals are going extinct? What's your opinion about that? So, examples of these animals I would think that are going extinct are dinosaurs. I haven't gotten... Well, I heard about dinosaurs from ancient history. I've not heard about them being... In existence of recent, and I think it is because. Well, I would like to associate it with a movie I watched. Mm. Well, <laughs> it could be a superstition, but that's what that's what I like to believe. Okay, um, so let's talk more about superstitions and things that people believe. Um, how interested are most people in your country in science? Well, on the average, I can say forty percent. Because science is a very broad um, area of knowledge. Okay. And just few people go into science because it sounds like a very hard thing to study. Why do you think children today might be better at science than their parents? Well, because children of nowadays actually seem to be very smart. From mm. childhood. Mm. So, and with the notion that we usually have about scientists being very smart, children actually, children of nowadays, are, they have, <laughs> they have a, a better chance at doing science than mm. the adults. How do you suggest the public can learn more about scientific developments? They have to do more research mm. and probably study in countries that have the technology mm. and to teach science mm. What do you think are the most important scientific discoveries in the last hundred years? So in the past, we didn't have medical doctors, most had midwives, which did not, well, they served well, but not as the medical doctors now itself. Mm -hmm. And in the future, I think science discoveries will make life even better. Mm. Okay. Do you agree or disagree that there are no more major scientific discoveries left to make? I would disagree on that because <laughs> knowledge is not so much. Mm. It cannot ever be a waste. Hmm. People keep learning about things every day, okay. which means they'll keep having reasons to make things better. Hmm. So, there's yeah. the need for research. Who should pay for scientific research? Government or private companies? I think government. 
because it's, it's always going to be useful for them, no matter who is there in the, in the government seat. They will, it will always be useful for them, as useful for the society, and government is a major part of the society. Any private company can choose to go out of business. But okay. Business. I see. Uh, that's a very interesting chat. Um, thank you very much for coming. Uh, it's I, I, I've had a quite uh, interesting insight into the topic uh, from your own perspective. Um, that actually signifies the end of the text, but I'd just like to just give you some comments about it. So I discovered that, I, I saw that since this was not, how would I say, it's an area where you had your strengths, you struggled through. So what happens when you get into the exam and something like this comes up? Well, this is an opportunity for me to know my strengths, like you mentioned earlier. So I'll just try to diversify mm. in and in, diversi and in diversifying, I think what you should do more wouldn't be actually reading up sample yeah. answers for this, but just actually just checking. So you're browsing through to see the wide range of topics that usually come out. And then to see the areas where you practically have no clues at all, or you're completely like a novice in. And then pick up one or two things or vocabulary items that you can use in talking about them. Also, please always note that the test is more about your opinion, not about your knowledge. So even all the scientific questions that were being asked, they weren't really coming from a position of what do you know? They were more of a position of what do you think? Okay, so any little idea that you have about it is actually enough for you to answer the question. All they, are, all they require you to do is to be able to express that thing that you think. For example, the question um, about, let's say, for example, how do you suggest the public can learn more about scientific developments and all that? So instead of being stuck in thinking about, oh, what concrete things, what specific things, or what specific ways can science be better taught, you know, I would rather go through the routes that you went through by just giving a general idea by saying, okay, I think you said something about going to countries where science is taught better. But so while you could talk about things like maybe the government making um, science subjects uh, compulsory for everyone or making a, maybe a basic science education compulsory for everyone after or maybe using TV or media to spread more scientific information. Those are, yeah, those are things that come from everyday interaction and not any specific kind of knowledge in that field. Overall, I think it was a very good attempt. You did quite well. Uh, we'll do more practice. And, uh, Hopefully I wish you the best in the test itself. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much for your time.